On August 21, 2017, residents of the continental United States are in for a treat. A total solar eclipse will sweep across the country, the first to be visible from the lower 48 states since 1979, 38 years ago. The path of the eclipse is predicted to travel from Salem, Oregon to Charleston, South Carolina, and pass over many large cities and populated areas, making this eclipse potentially the most viewed total eclipse in the history of the world. So, what is a total eclipse? A solar eclipse happens when a new moon moves between the Earth and the Sun, blocking some or all of the Sun's rays from reaching the Earth. By cosmic chance, even though the Sun is 400 times wider than the Moon, it's also 400 times farther away. Therefore, the two objects appear the same size in our sky. Astronomers are able to predict eclipses because the Earth and Moon have very predictable orbits. Why then isn't there an eclipse every month? The Moon's orbit is usually tilted a few degrees north or south in relation to the Earth. When the Moon does eclipse the Sun, it casts two types of shadows on Earth, a smaller, darker shadow known as the umbra, and a larger shadow known as the penumbra. There are four types of solar eclipses. The first and most spectacular is a total eclipse when the moon completely covers the sun's surface. A total eclipse can only be seen if you're standing within the umbral shadow. That's why the imaginary line created by this shadow as it races across Earth is known as the path of totality. People within the penumbral shadow see only a partial eclipse, the second type. From this view, Outside the path of totality, the moon passes in front of the sun off-center, never fully covering its surface. Third, an annular eclipse, occurs when the moon passes directly in front of the sun. However, unlike a total eclipse, the moon appears too small to fully cover the sun. The moon's orbit is elliptical, so sometimes it's closer to Earth and sometimes it's farther away. Last, a hybrid eclipse is when the moon's position between the Earth and Sun is so finely balanced that the curvature of the Earth plays a role. The moon will be farther away from some parts of Earth along the eclipse's path, resulting in an annular eclipse. In other parts, the moon will be just close enough to fully cover the Sun, resulting in a total eclipse. While a total solar eclipse happens somewhere on Earth every year or two, any given point on Earth experiences the event only about once every 400 years. Total solar eclipse begins as a partial eclipse. You'll notice trees projecting the crescent sun and shadows becoming sharper than normal. The landscape darkens to a bluish gray and you'll start to feel the temperature drop. From the west, the moon's shadow rushes towards you like a silent storm. Look up and you'll see the last sliver of the sun sparkling like a diamond ring before it's broken into a string of beads by the moon's rough terrain. Now you can see the pearly glow of the sun's corona and the pink and red light from the hydrogen gas of the chromosphere. Together, these make up the sun's outer atmosphere and a total solar eclipse is the only occasion you have to lay eyes on it. This is totality and if you get a chance to see it, you should. Staring directly at the sun during an eclipse can cause solar retinopathy. Symptoms of solar retinopathy include loss of visual sharpness, blind spots, changes in color vision, or distortion when looking at straight lines or grids. Heating of the retina by one or two degrees is enough to damage retinal cells, which can occur within 30 to 60 seconds of staring at an eclipse. Eye experts advise anyone watching the eclipse to use eclipse glasses or the pinhole box method. Today, I'm going to show you a cool and safe way that kids can observe a solar eclipse. All you need is a push pin, two paper cards, and a sunny place. We're going to make a pinhole projector. 
With a pinhole projector, we can watch the shape of the sun change during an eclipse without having to look directly at the sun. To make your projector, use your pin to punch a small hole in the middle of one of the cards. And that's it, you're done. Now take your pinhole projector outside, but don't look at the sun. Instead, look for your shadow. You want to see the shadow of your head and shoulders clearly, either on the ground or on a wall. Next, hold up the card with a hole and rest it on your shoulder so you can see the shadow of the card next to the shadow of your head. Now, hold up the second card until its shadow overlaps the shadow of the first card. Now look at the second card. You should see a small circle on it. The circle is actually an image of the sun. Your pinhole projector has projected it right onto your second card. Right now, the image of the sun on your card is a circular shape, but during a solar eclipse, you'll see a crescent. It's going to be a totally awesome total eclipse.